going live now. Hello everyone, we're just going live a little bit earlier. It's uh, eight minutes to three. We're supposed to go live at three for the workout. But we're just going live earlier. If anybody's got any questions, now's a good time to ask. To ask questions, you need to be signed into your Google account and then there'll be a, a facility to leave questions. So it's always good to ask questions. So just bear with us for another seven minutes while we're waiting for everybody else to join. And then uh, in the meantime, feel free to ask questions. Also make sure that uh, you introduce yourself. So it's like a real class, treat it like a real class. You come into the class, you say, hello, my name is so-and-so. I'm from here and there. Please do the same thing here. Use the chat and just say, uh, hello, it's uh, Johnny from uh, Belgium or wh wherever you're from. Uh, I'm Taco, that's my real name, uh, this is Anna. Hi guys, this is Anna, yeah. um, feel free to ask us any questions, it's not quite 3pm yet but yeah anything we do with the kettlebells or, or your training or if you're having issues anywhere with your um, working out, we're more than happy to answer them for class today, so yeah. Um, Anna's from Australia, I'm from Holland. We've been living in Australia for 13 years. Before that we lived in Spain for seven to eight years. Uh, after Australia we moved to Vietnam, Thailand, back to Spain. And then we made the mistake of deciding to move to Italy and now we're stuck in Italy. We uh, moved here at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, we're having some few issues here in Italy. Hello yeah. Stephen from the UK. Technique has improved my windmill issues and for your advice. Oh nice. Right. That's good. Excellent. So while we're waiting for three o'clock to come along, uh, feel free to ask questions guys. Hello Stefano from Italy. Hello Mohamed Baba from New York City. Javier from Argentina. Hola Javier, como estas? <laughs> Steven, by the way, I don't know why I've never the purchase first for Basil. You read that. By the way, Anna, my wife and I managed to purchase fresh basil after you took your clip to <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Stephen. I love my I love my fresh herbs. Um, if you go on my um, YouTube channel, Queen of Bells, I've got quite a few cooking videos up there too. So um, it's uh, I call it cooking for dummies. But um, it's all about just in, install, instilling um, healthy lifestyle habits into your 
everyday uh, life and um, keeping your body healthy on the inside. <laughs> okay, anything more I can help you with in the regards of nutrition, more than happy to help. There you go. So it does help when I walk in on the videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello Murray, milkman from London, glad to be back in Kettlebell, it's been a long time, good, good to be back in Kettlebells. Hello Andreas. Hi Andreas, is that Andreas? Andreas? Yes. Yeah. So we've got two minutes before we get started, we are actually going to repeat the workout that we did yesterday. So if yesterday you were watching and you weren't joining in today is the day that you will join in so grab your kettlebells you can even do it with one kettlebell so just uh like we are here to provide motivation and ideas but we also need motivation ourselves we're just normal people who also like to work out with other people so you guys are those people that we're working out with Hi from Croatia, hello. Greetings from Germany. Wie geht's? Wie geht's? <laughs> so I'll quickly run through the, uh, the workout, even though we really haven't started yet. Uh, I'll just prepare you guys and then I'll run through it again in a bit. First, we'll do a warm up with just uh, body weight. We always do that. Then we'll do a combo of hand clean, swing, and clean. We do that for 50 seconds, 10 seconds rest, six times. Then we rest for two minutes and we stretch. Then we grab two kettlebells, but if you only have one kettlebell, that's not a problem. We'll show you how to do the same thing with only one kettlebell. The combo is a squat deadlift into a press. Now this is a really core buster. It's really good for your core assuming that you do it with the right weight for your level. Two minutes of stretching. Uh, this combo will do the same format, which is 50 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, times six times. Two minutes stretching, then we do four minutes of renegade rows into dead rows and alternating reverse lunge. The alternating reverse lunge is just body weight. It gives you a break from what you're doing here, because this is really intense on the core again. Renegade rows is in a plank position, dead rows is in a hip hinge position. Both of those really uh, place a lot of uh, load on your core, which is good if you do it right, program it right, rest appropriately, etc. So it's three o'clock. Uh, everybody that said that we're gonna be here for the class should be here. I'd like to see your hands up for people who are actually going to get the kettlebell and join in today. Like, it's nice for us to see that people say, hey, we're going to grab the kettlebell and work out along with you. That motivates us. So let's see, hands up, who is going to work out with us today. waiting for the answers to come in. Nobody's going to work out with us. We might as well shut down. <laughs> there we go. We got one. We got Stephen Harris standing by with double 16s. That's the way. Damar Easton, I'm going to ride with you, great, that's two, Stefano, let's go, three, ten, Rodders, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm following you today, I hope that means you're working out, Andreas, good, Sauli from Switzerland, he's in, great, Jan Peter Mayer, 
Okay, great. All right, that, that's great. We've got enough motivation today. That's great, people. Thanks for that. I hope you're going to stick to the end. Joe, Joe, just got here. All right, great. So let's start with our warm up, body weight warm up. If you can't hear me, make sure you uh, write it in the comments or if the feed breaks up, write it in the comments because all I see right now is just the comments on my screen. Okay, so keep us up to date. Let's start with uh, jumping jacks, guys, in position, facing that way. You want me to take the warm up? No, I'll take the warm up. <laughs> all right, you take the warm up, go on. All right, I'm gonna do the warm up. Let's go, jumping jacks, 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're going to do some squats here, okay? Just get your feet a little bit wider than hip line. 10, they don't need to be full, full uh, depth if you don't want to. It is a warm up. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, hands down on the ground. We're going to do some cross mountain climbers here. Opposite knee to elbow. Okay, we're going to do 10. Left and right is 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Jump in, jump up. Hip circles here, nice big hip circles. 10, or oh, we'll do five each way. Four, three, two, one. Change direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, reverse lunges. Six, five, four, Three, two, and one more each way, and back to jumping jacks. Ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squats, let's go. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cross mountain climbers. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Four hip circles. Five, four. Three, two, one, change. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay. Circle the arms, both ways, both arms. Five, four, three, two, one, change. Try and keep the arms straight, pull the lats down as your arms come down. Five, four, three, two, one. One up, one down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, internal, external rotations here. Arms out, you can do them alternately. Okay, now both at the same time. Five, four, three, two, one. Shoulder rolls, one way first. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Now the other way. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Okay, if you've got a light kettlebell, grab it. Um, if you don't, just work with what you've got, but you don't want it to be too heavy. So we're just gonna do some around the body here. You wanna grab the kettlebell, thumb to thumb behind you, okay? Just be mindful of your space that you've got. Now change direction. We bicep curl it, we catch it in the opposite hand, and then we just go the other way. Keep the shoulders back. You wanna refrain from one shoulder coming forward. So you wanna keep the shoulders nice and square. Okay, so now we're gonna grab the kettlebell with the base up, and we're gonna do some halos. Just behind the head and coming forward to the chest, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, other way. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, kettlebell down, nice and gently, and I'll hand it over to Taco. All right, let's have a look and see who else we got that joined us. <sighs> Hi from Russia, hi Jane. Dane Kotka, working out in North Carolina. Chris Borrell, will this be safe so I can do it later? Yes, it will be. All the live sessions uh, are on our channel. The channel is uh, www.youtube.com forward slash caveman training. All the live sessions that we've done so far are there can't find them shoot me a message and of course there's over 800 uh, videos on our channel we've got over 6 million views on the channel uh, so check that out lots of workouts Anand hey Anand I hope you're gonna join us so we just did our warm-up we got nearly 40 people joining in hey Ravi Hope you're gonna join us as well. So, what we're gonna do right now is just uh, go through the workout. Let's see who else we got. Giovanni Pisone, hi from Sicily, hello. Hello lads. All right, grab yourself uh, a light weight. We're gonna start with the first combo. We're just gonna go through technique. So we're not starting the workout, we're just gonna go through the combos. Hey Jay. Watch me first, then have a go. The first combo is a hang clean. Hang. This is the position I come in. My feet remain flat, my knees come out, and my hips are pushed down, my shoulders stay high. That's the position of the hang. My shoulders are pulled back and up. Once I get at the bottom position, I pull up. This pulls here. The legs drive the motion. I think about pulling to the ceiling. Okay, you're not gonna pull to the ceiling, but think about that. Then the weight comes so high to that pull, that you can just let go because it's going to go up anyway. You turn, insert, catch the weight. That's a hang clean, okay? So let's get, grab your bell, start in racking position, do 10 hang cleans on one side, then 10 on the other. Then if you've got questions, put them in the comments and we'll have a look. Here we go, three, two, one, hang, clean, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
five, four, three, two, one. Belt down. While I'm talking, you're welcome to do another set of ten on each side. In the meantime, I'm going to see if there's any questions. I don't see any questions. We're going to go and move on to the swing. So our combo is hand clean, swing, and then a clean. I'm breaking the movements down right now. We're going to do a one arm swing. Hip pinch. Looking there. Squeeze the butt. Direct the weight out. Shoulder back and down. Chest active. Wait, 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 wait. Hinge, insert, back out. Let's go, do it with me. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Three, two, one, swing. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bell down. I will see if there's any questions. In the meantime, you can do another set of 10 on each side. If there are no questions, I'm going to move on to the next part of the combo. So remember guys, I'm breaking down the combo that we're going to do. Next is a clean with a swinging motion. So the most common clean is the one with a hip hinge. That's why people refer to it as just a clean. Just like they refer to a snatch as just a snatch, but they all have specific names. This is a swing clean, because this is a hang clean. This is a dead clean. This is a lateral clean, okay? So, swing clean. I'll demonstrate. Watch my elbow, it stays close to the body. Drop, insert, and pull out, drop, insert, pull out, that pull happens with a straight arm, right here, elbow stays close, and then I let go, and I punch in, that's my clean, ready, set, go, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Clean. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Bell down. Well, let's see if there's uh, any questions. If we don't have questions, it means that we got some super good people here today. That's great. Jan Peter Mayer, can you show your grip once you drop the kettlebell from rack position? Yes, I can do that. So I'm going to use the light light. Here, 
the weight, sorry, the, the handle is 45 degree out of the palm. Not here, here. Because I opened up and inserted the hand. You gotta let go of that bell. Very important. Then as I drop here naturally, I don't cast that weight out. I let it drop and because the weight is heavy here, it will naturally fall here. That's just natural. Go with it. Then transition to hook grip. Hook grip. I could just take the cable out, put it in. That's the grip you got there, right here. Then insert, pull, straight arm. By pull, I mean the pull is created by your glutes and your hamstring and your adductor magnus. The pull is created by your pelvis coming up. It pulls the weight out. I don't mean a pull with the elbow, with the biceps. So pull out, keep the belt close, no curling. So this here is all a pull with the legs. Now I can let go, insert. This is where you end up. This is the drop into hook grip through the legs, hip pinch, pull out, keep the elbow close. It comes up, you open up, you insert. Hope that helps. All right, we're gonna move on. So, one more time, our workout is a hand clean, swing and a clean. Repeat that for 50 seconds. 10 seconds rest, six times. Then we do two minutes of stretching, then we do a combo of a squat, deadlift and press. I will demonstrate that now because later on I don't have time to show you. Not enough time. So I'm going to demonstrate this too now, okay? You need two bells, but you can have one bell and a dumbbell. The one that you're pressing can be a dumbbell. Watch me here. I'm going to clean one kettlebell up. This will be the one that I'm pressing. This could be a dumbbell. If all you have is one kettlebell, use a dumbbell or a bottle of water. Not a problem. Here, good racking position, looking ahead, squatting. This is my deadlift. Then press. Down into rack, back into deadlift. Deadlift. Press. Deadlift. Now, some people will say, that's not a deadlift. Yes, it is a deadlift. A deadlift does not define a movement. A deadlift defines a range. From dead to lift. The movement that we're using is a squat. I can squat deadlift. I can lunge deadlift. I can hip hinge deadlift which is the most common one. Okay, we're gonna do that for 50 seconds as well. Squat, deadlift, press. Grab a weight and let's do this together. We'll do five on each side. Even if you've got um, uneven weights, guys, it's actually a good thing too. So this exercise can be done with uneven weights. So you just change them over um, for right. the next set. Right arm, clean your kettlebell, good rack, which is tight here. There's a free PDF on our website, master kettlebell racking. You think racking is very insignificant maybe, but it's not. I've got a full PDF, over 20 pages on just racking. Download it. Good rack, look ahead, pull the knees out, hips low. You don't need to look at your weight, you know where it is. Then lift up, let's go, and press. Rack it. 
down to the ground, dead. Lift, press, dead to the ground. Lift, press, rack, dead to the ground. Lift, press, dead to the ground. Step back, that's not five, but that's enough. I don't want to get exhausted before the workout. Let's, you can do it on your other side now. Do five on your other side. Well, I'll see if there's any questions. Javier is asking, why do I train without shoes? Because shoes squash your feet together. If these are my feet, these are the shoes. Your feet are made to be free, your toes. You're supposed to use those toes. You can't use them. A lot of people lose the ability to use their toes in shoes because they don't uh, have the freedom to spread them. And they completely lose the ability to use their toes. And they're squashed the whole time, they actually get deformed. So your feet become a whole lot stronger once you start training without shoes, okay? Uh, especially uh, sneakers. Sneakers are made for running. Uh, there's a whole lot more I can say about it, but if you're lifting uh, kettlebells and you are uh, in need of shoes, then use shoes that are flat. What do we got here? That's funny. All right, Moondog, hello, anything else? No, okay. So that was that combo. I'm gonna show another combo in a second. Give me one second. Okay, the last combo that we're doing is Renegade Row into dead row, into alternating reverse lunge. Renegade row. Belts are under the shoulders. Not out, not here, right under the shoulders. Elbows locked out, chest nice and firm, lats pulling down, looking ahead. Not, not the head there, looking at the ground. Kick back. Feet wide, unless you're really advanced and you want more instability, here. Row into the hips. You do not want your hips to twist. If they are twisting, it means that the weight is too heavy for you. You might want to do it with a lighter weight or just work on core strength first. Row. Now I've done my renegade row. Kick it in. Take your time. Squeeze the glutes back straight. Dead row. All the work is done by the rear, not here. This is a curl, pull back. Then I stand up fully, reverse lunge. Reverse lunge, back into the combo. We're gonna do it together and then let's see if there's any questions. If you've only got one bell as well, as we ex as said, yes. the whole com this whole routine can be done with one bell. So the renegade row, the one bell option, is pop down into push-up position. Okay, so you've got one hand on the handle. All right, feet are wide. Okay, you pull that bell in, roll it into the hip. Okay, you come back. You're going to row it in. Okay, then come back into your reverse lunge. Then you do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and what we're gonna do here is you just row on the other side, okay? So that's your one bell option, or if you're finding the renegade row is just too hard, just work on the plank. Squeeze your glutes, hands under your shoulders, okay? And you can also work with just lifting one hand off at a time, shoulder tap, 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 okay? Yeah, that's great. So, let's do the renegade row together, guys. Get your belts ready. Under the shoulders. 
Let's try this out. Here we go. Make sure that you got competition bells. Yeah. Because if you don't, they're going to topple over. Okay, so if you don't have competition bells, use it as one bell. Go here. Don't balance on the kettlebells. Here, here we go. Kick it back. Nice and wide at the back. Roll. Right side. Gently down. Left side. Gently down. Kick your feet in. Not too far. Adjust. Roll into your hips. Gently down. Stand up. Right side back. Fully upright. Left side back back into the same sequence okay any questions let me know we're going to get started soon if there are no questions we're going to get started soon i got my timer best timer in the world because i created it I want to see if we can put it somewhere where you can see. That's not going to happen. All right. We got 40 seconds and then we're going to start with one bell. Because I don't see any questions, so we're just going to get stuck into it. I'm going to start with a light bell because we we've been working uh, non-stop for nine days basically <laughs> today's so day 10 in a row i'm going to listen to my body and i'm going to go with a lighter weight i don't care 14 seconds one kettlebell we're going to work for 50 seconds with the combo right hand we're going to start into a hang three two one hang clean swing Clean, hang, clean, swing, clean, hang, clean, swing, clean, keep going, hang, swing, clean, hang, swing, clean, hang, swing, clean. Hang, 15 seconds, swing, clean, hang, swing, clean, hang, swing, clean, rest. Fell down, we got 10 seconds to recover, and then other side. Starting the hang or lift, go, hang, clean, Swing, clean, hang, swing, clean, hang, swing, clean, hang, swing, clean, you're on your own. Twenty seconds. Two, 
first. Remember the first movement is a squat, the second two are a hip hinge. Get ready, the fourth set, and go. seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. and rest. Give us a heads up if you're still with us. Ah. Stretching. Hello Dutch Ram from USA, Florida. Andrew, you bought all five Kettlebell Encyclopedia and combined by all these combines you're doing in these books. No, no, no. These are more uh, the Kettlebell Complexes Made Simple books, Andrew. The Encyclopedia breaks down every exercise, whereas the Kettlebell Complexes Made Simple book combines them. Okay, so complex is where you put multiple exercises together. Let's stretch, and then we'll get stuck into the strength component. Shout out if you're still with us. Just come into a hip flexor stretch, guys. Raise that top arm, open up your thoracic. Andrea's still there, Jay's still there, Jojo, Michael Ajibulu. Damar Easton still there, Stefano still there. Let's rotate the palm. Jan, okay, great guys, okay. thanks. Change sides. 50 seconds. Tuck under, push forward, open up the hip. Raise the top arm, rotate the palm up there. Come on down, test your hips. Open up again, and again. Let's hold it there and let's get ready. Okay. For the strength component, Let's two bells. Up. Get your two, bells ready. Two bells. This is gonna hurt. I like this one. Yeah, it's tough. This one, really tough. It's good. 
Okay. Guys, you need to make sure that you stay upright. Don't push yourself. If you're falling forward, your weight is too heavy or you need to work on your uh, squat. Right side, clean. Good rack. Step out of your bell, squat, look ahead. Dead lift it up. Press, rack, dead. Lift, press, rack, dead. Lift, press, rack, dead. Lift, press, 20 seconds, dead. Lift, press, rack, dead. Lift, press, rack, dead. Last one, lift, press, rack, dead. Step back, drop it. We're the left side next. Ah. Left side. Clean. Rack. Over the bell. Squat. Dead lift. Press. Rack. Dead. Lift. Press. Rack. Dead. Lift. Press. Rack. Dead. Lift. Press. Rack. Keep going. 20 seconds. One more. Stand up. Drop. Ay, ay, ay. We got four more of these. Right side. And go. Clean. Rack, squat, lift, press. Ah, you're on your own. Twenty five. Yeah. Fifteen. Bell down. Step back. Drop it. Not drop it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In a good way. Ah. We're halfway. Halfway. Woo. And we have to go again. Clean. Left side. Racket, squat, press, put the bell down gently, no banging, all about control, 20 seconds. Never be 
be scared to finish Rest. sooner. Don't push your body past the point where you're going to get injured. Whew. Last side, left side, Work. and go, clean. Ah. Squat, deep. Ah, yeah. seconds. Nice and controlled. 20. One more. Bell down. Two minutes of stretching. Ah. Stretching. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you got questions, pause them. Ah. And I will start the stretching. I'm going to make the stretching a bit longer. So I'm going to pause the timer for a second and see if okay. anybody's got questions. Just come into play. Okay, bring one foot forward <sighs> and come into a pigeon. Okay, so just take it as far as your knee will allow you. You shouldn't feel it in your knee whatsoever. If you're feeling quite flexible, you can open that front leg out 90 degrees. Your aim here is to square the hips up and just try and get that hip a little bit further and further to the ground each time. All you right, we got, we got Ryan Foucher here. That's Hi, great. Ryan. From Kettlebell Crusher. He's got a great website, guys. You should check out kettlebellcrusher.com. Great website. Lots of uh, good stuff there. Check it out. Keep stretching, guys. If you want to take the stretch deep, a tad further, you can come down onto your forearms as well. Jojo, is it okay to jerk the belt towards the end or switch to a lighter weight? You have yes. to switch to a lighter weight because you're, you're holding one bell. Unless you've really advanced, it's not a good idea to hold the bell and start jerking on the other side. So I recommend to go lighter okay. with this combo. All right, we're gonna do one and a half minutes still of uh, stretching. And then we're gonna go into the next strength component, which is renegade brows, dead brows, alternating reverse lunge. All right, next stretch, guys. We got one minute 10, feet under the hips. Pull the top of your pelvis down, try and keep your knees locked out. When you go as far as you can, start bending your back, vertebrae by vertebrae, drop your head. Try and get your head towards the ground. Try and keep the knees locked out. We got 40 seconds. Now push your hands into the ground. And coming up. She wants some water, okay? Don't you? Let's get prepared for the next part of the workout. Two kettlebells or one kettlebell as Anna demonstrated at the beginning. If you didn't tune in at the beginning, then watch the video after we're finished. It'll be on the channel. We got 14 seconds. Actually, I'm gonna make that a bit longer. So we can get some music pumping. All right, we got seven seconds. Get yourself ready, two bells. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Four minutes of work. Renegade row. 
Row into the hips. Kick it in. Dip row. Your back needs to be straight. Come all the way up. Reverse lunge, nice and controlled. Back up, full extension. Reverse lunge. Kick it back into that plank. Wide feet, abs on, row into your hips. If your hips are shifting, the weight is too heavy. Kick it in, back straight, row into the hips. Release, stand up, reverse lunge. Back up, other side, back into a plank. Row, row, kick it in, row, stand up, reverse lunge, slow, reverse lunge, slow, kick it back, renegade row, kick it in, row, up, Reverse lunge. Gently tap that knee. Plank. Row. Row. Kick it in. Row. Your back has to be straight before you row. Stand up. Everything good form and technique. No rushing here. Plank. Two minutes. Ah, row, row, kick it in, row, up, reverse lunge, halfway. we're halfway, plank, ah. row, row, kick it in, row, up. Plank. Row. Row. Kick it in. Row. Up. Reverse lunge. Control the movement. Ah. Plank. Kick it in. Up. Reverse lunge. One minute. Here we awesome. go. Plank. Let's pick it up a little bit. Plank. Row. Deeper, lower, longer stretch. 
Keep the head in the opposite way. Try and control your breathing, slow it down, slow the heart rate down. Okay, change over. Same thing, other way. We got one person, one more round. That's Anand. But hold on, Anand. Didn't you say you were going to do it tomorrow? Only people that are actually going to do another round should be able to say one more round. Okay. Just grab the soles of your feet, guys. Knees to the outside of your ribs. Press the heels up. Stretching through the adductors, opening the hips. Okay, extend one leg to one arm, hand, and change. Excuse me. All right, we don't have enough people to do another round, so we're going to call it there. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Anybody that's interested in all these uh, kettlebell complexes, make sure you check out Kettlebell Complexes Made Simple. It's a book and it's also a two hour video. It will also be a course very soon on uh, Udemy. Or it is a course on Udemy, sorry. But it will also be a certification at some point. Uh, if you're still needing to learn all these things like hand transitions, grip transitions, then make sure you check out Kettlebell Training Fundamentals book also on Amazon and on cavemantraining.com forward slash shop. If you want uh, weekly workouts, come and join us in the inner circle, which is where we have quite a few people that are watching now are, and we, we do a, a workout every week. It's a bit different now due to the whole lockdown but uh, there's 50 workouts, full length workouts in the inner circle already. So there's a lot of content there. Look up uh, Caveman Inner Circle on the Caveman Training website. And if anybody's got any questions right now about what we just did, feel free to ask. We're here to answer your questions, guys. So I'll wait a few more seconds to see if anybody's got questions. If not, we're gonna call it a day. And then Anna and I will do some more work while the camera is off. So I'll give it 20 more seconds to see if there's any questions. You're welcome, Ryan. I hope you uh, did the workout. I want to see uh, some uh, of this on your Instagram. Make sure you tag me at Real Caveman Training. Tag me as well, guys. Uh, Queen of Bells, I'm on Instagram and YouTube, so just tag me with your workouts as well. Um, it's always nice to see them. Yes. And guys, make sure you sh check out kettlebellcrusher.com as well. Great website, lots of motivation there too. Uh, Ryan uh, explains his whole uh, journey from uh, being overweight and unfit. And then he shows you several progressions of uh, how he got to where he is. He's looking really good uh, these days and uh, he's got a six pack. Yes, you do, Ryan. There's a six pack there. I've seen it. So that story is very motivational. Uh, I like seeing people share them with others. So make sure you check that out. R Ryan, if you can leave a link to your website, actually so that people can check it out. Just leave it in the comments, don't be shy. And let's see. If you could do only one double bell combo for the next six months, what would it be? It would be the... WBKC? No, not the WBKC. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. The it, now, I forgot the name of it. Asgard. Asgard. Let's see. I just got a question. I'm just looking up the name of the combo. It would be Asgard, yes. The Asgard uh, complex. If I could do only one kettlebell combo for the rest of the time, it would be the Asgard. You should check that out on the channel. Stefano, he enrolled in the course on Udemy. Great, man. Uh, that's great. Uh, 
I hope you enjoy the course and as always just uh, feel free to ask any questions. A lot of people just join in the course but they, I never see them ask anything which is a shame because uh, I learn as well. When people ask, I learn and I improve. So I like questions. That's why I always ask anybody's got questions because questions make me think about stuff and making me think about stuff makes me learn more. So. If I just am here demonstrating stuff and I never get a question, I'm going to lose my knowledge and I'm not going to progress. So people need to question me for everything. Whenever I, I demonstrate something, it's like, why are you doing this? Why that? I don't mind that. That's a good thing because any trainer needs to be able to explain why are you doing this? There's a lot of trainers out there who just say, do this, do that, and do so. Only because that's how they've been told, but they don't really understand why they're doing it. And they're not able to make the client understand why they're doing it. So that process keeps going on and on and on and on, and it's bad. Trainers need to be questioned. So I like questions, I like lots of questions. Thanks for the motivation. Yes, thank you guys for the motivation. If there are no other questions, I'm going to sign off in 30 seconds and then Anna and I will do some more work off camera. Don't forget to put your website in there, Ryan. Just type it in www.kettlebellcrusher.com. Type it in. Go on. Come on. Uh, do I recommend competition kettlebells for Renegade Bros? Absolutely. Uh, they got a bigger base, so they hardly topple over. Uh, classic bells have a, a very small base, and they topple over and can be dangerous on your wrists. So, uh, in the book Kettlebell Training Fundamentals, I recommend never to do it, but that's because that book is aimed at beginners. So it needs to be in the context. Do I recommend nobody to ever do them off classic bells? No, people can do them. As you get advanced, like myself, I can do them because I got uh, strong wrists and I wanna challenge my stability more. And if you wanna challenge your stability, you need to create instability. Hands, smaller base is better. But in general, I will always say competition kettlebells. Great question, Ryan. Yes, yeah, Stephen, feel free to ask uh, Anna any questions on her Facebook, or on, her, on her YouTube, or on her Instagram. She's also always uh, willing to answer questions. She is in the same uh, frame of mind. If questions are asked, then she needs to do research and needs to know what she's talking about. So questions help her learn too. So always feel free to ask her anything about nutrition too. Anna's website. Anna, Anna's website is www.cavementraining.com, same website, but she's got um, uh, YouTube, which is Queen of Bells, and she's got uh, Instagram, which is also Queen of Bells, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Andreas. And uh, make sure to come and join us in the Kettlebell Training Group on Facebook. Okay. Nearly 14,000 people in there. Just shoot uh, me a message, guys, and I'll uh, approve you, yeah, with the group. Because I manage it all. And um, just say, hey, I did your workout, and I'll approve you. All right. 20 seconds. If there's no questions, we're going we're gonna to call it there for today. <laughs> Feel free to share the video afterwards with other people. Uh, it will take a while to process by YouTube and then it will be available uh, for people.